Hi, welcome to Office Hours. I'm Chris, and this is what I do at HarperCollins. I make book covers. I work with artists, uh, illustrators, other designers to bring together their talents and my talents to create this package that winds up in your hands. I'm usually spending my day on Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, make lots of notes. I have my handy dandy post-its. I have a huge stack of post-its because I actually use every single one throughout my day. I like to make my schedule like bite-sized onto each one so you don't know how satisfying it is. Just take it and crumple up and be like, wow, oh, did that. 60% of my time is spent sifting through Pinterest or Instagram to gather all these different pieces from these artists so that I can bring them together into presentations to see if they might be a right fit for our covers. I love looking for new artists uh, to pitch for our titles. When I'm not designing for work, I'm still usually on the computer. Um, one of my favorite programs is Adobe Illustrator and I love to illustrate and create little side projects for myself. I think one of the best pieces of advice I'd had was you need to fuel your creative work with your own creative work and uh, that's really like an outlet for me. I have a lot of fun with it and I'm able to uh, learn new things about the programs that I'm working in and then I usually am able to carry everything that I'm learning outside of the office back into uh, my projects for work. I have so many projects that I've worked on that have been such an amazing opportunity. Charming as a Verb, The Secret Life of Sam, Crown Chasers, Felix Ever After. I really loved um, being able to be a part of that project. You know, one, working with Alex Cabal and Case and Calendar to really bring together something that showcases the LGBTQ community. I also really enjoyed working on uh, Witches Teeth and Gold. We get to showcase these two badass witches on our cover and bring together these portraits with these 3D elements to create something really beautiful for our end result. This over here is my design library. It's just great to take a break from having to look at a screen all day. And if I'm feeling stuck on a project uh, and I want to just take a different look at it, I'll come here and just have a look uh, through some of these books. There's a lot of great reference material to pull from. And I feel like a lot of the times uh, you might see something being used differently on page than you do on screen and it really helps to uh, pull together these little accents or uh, specialties to make a book cover uh, stand out. A really exciting aspect of my job is reading through these manuscripts for uh, future book titles and trying to um, figure out what might make an exciting cover. I was able to pull some manuscripts from uh, the server and I usually just put them onto my Kindle and I'll be like, you know, reading them and enjoying every word. <laughs> so I'm getting down to designing a jacket right now. I have a very interesting process when it comes to doing design work. Uh, I like to think along the terms of Bob Ross oftentimes. You know, I'll talk to the book jacket I'll ask it, what what does it want? What are you trying to be? I always get butterflies in my stomach whenever I start a new jacket because it starts off as a blank canvas. You know, sometimes I'll um, just have like the uh, jacket up for a day, keep coming back to it. Maybe there's just like slight things that uh, when you're in design mode, you don't really see. A lot of the times I do this thing where I'll like back up from my screen and then I'll just like, you know, look around, squint at it. Squinting helps a lot. Squinting and blurring the lines, you really get to see what you notice the most. Every book is a new opportunity. That's where the fun of it all is, is you really can push yourself every single time you try to make a new beautiful piece of art for the cover. And it's just really rewarding to be in a space where so many people pour so much effort and 
excitement and joy into these beautiful books. I can go into like 10 different stores in one day and not get tired of seeing the same book in every store on different shelves. It's just a really gratifying experience. If I were to offer my advice to someone who wanted to pursue publishing, um, book design, I would really say a lot of us are too nervous a lot of the times to go after the things that really make us happy. But really just put yourself in that position where you are going after the things that you want. Be excited for things. People love excitement. I, I'm excited talking about what's making me excited right now. If you go into the mindset of really sharing, that'll really make a big difference in your life.